A short-term vacation rental on Mount Helix has neighbors up in arms tonight. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. Lawsuits have been filed, but no one is backing down. As News 8's David Gofferson reports, the neighbors say they're living with a $2 million party house in their backyard. <laughs> It's the party house on the hill. Do you guys have floor or not? At least that's what the neighbors on Mount Helix call it. You can hear people screaming, cars racing, yelling, drug transactions, all of that stuff. If you just step outside, you can hear it or see it. Next door neighbor Randy didn't want his last name used on TV. It started with the COVID violations, um, having multiple people coming and going. Meanwhile, you have huge parties going on here with non-family groups that are gathering 10, 15, 20, even 30 people. Other neighbors on Alzita Drive have put up signs showing their displeasure with the five bedroom, five bath home listed for rent online for between $1,200 and $2,000 per night. It's a beautiful property. It's an entertainment home. It was built that way. The man managing the short-term rental, Jason Bales, is himself in a lease-to-own agreement with the property owner. There is no question that there are bad actors out there that are trying to have parties, and they're taking advantage of the Airbnb platform to do so. We have a strict house rule. No parties, no events. Bales says he limits the rental to 10 people, and he's installed noise monitors on the property. He says it's the neighbors who are harassing his guests. The sheriffs are being called nightly on every guest. And the sheriffs are like, uh, we drove down there, but there's no noise. Bale believes the real issue is that the neighbors want to keep Mount Helix exclusive. We live in a part of the county in Mount Helix, which is a predominantly white, affluent neighborhood. And um, they have stated that they don't want these types of people coming to their neighborhood. It's a race issue and it's unfortunate. There's no evidence whatsoever that anybody's racist. Attorney Paul Jonah represents the next door neighbors who are now suing Bales. The issue is dangerous parties where fights break out, where there's drug deals in a residential neighborhood. It doesn't matter if they're white, black, yellow, brown. He says the rental house is in violation of noise restrictions agreed to by the neighbors in a legally binding covenant. The noise violations have been documented in video, audio, large parties. It's basically Jason Bale's word versus all the neighbors. There are numerous lawsuits pending in this case.